Hi, I'm Guy DiMartino. I am a Northwest Indiana state planning and probate lawyer. And today I'd like to answer a question that I recently received to somebody when we were putting together their revocable living trust. And they wanted to know about the tax consequences of the trust. But before I answer this question, if you ever have any questions regarding a Northwest Indiana estate planning or probate matter, you can always reach out to me and set an appointment at indianastatemeeting.com. We can meet by phone, we can meet by video, we can meet in person, whatever works for you. So first and foremost, regarding the tax consequences of a revocable living trust, I am not a tax accountant and I am not a tax attorney. But generally speaking, it's a revocable living trust. It does not get a separate tax ID number. It takes on the tax ID number of the grantor or the individual who put together the trust. So any type of income that the trust generates will be taxed at the individual tax rate of the grantor while the grantor is alive. Typically, if there's only one grantor and that grantor is also the trustee, after the grantor passes away, then you have to go out and get a tax ID number for the trust solely and the income of the trust at that point in time, if the trust is going on from year to year, the income of the trust will be taxed at the trust tax return rate or the estate tax return rate. You see, an individual rate has a different sliding scale based on the tax percentages than a trust or an estate tax rate. But generally speaking, if it's a grantor trust, and that means it's an individual that has put it together like in a uh, revocable living trust or in a pure grantor irrevocable trust or an IPUG, the income will be taxed at the individual grantor's rate. The other thing you have to worry about after the person passes away, if there's a bunch of money that's in the trust and it gets over the estate and gift tax rate, there might be subject to some type of estate or gift tax. But right now it's 11.2 million and I just don't deal with folks with that type of dough. Uh, in their estates or in their trusts at this point in time. Never know what's going to happen. You know, if a new administration comes in the next few years, they can always change that. So that's something you always have to keep an eye on. If you have any questions about a Northwest Indiana estate planning or probate matter, you can always reach out to me. I am Guy DiMartino. Have yourself a great day.